Good morning. Happy Sunday. Thank you for so much, everybody, for all your comments, showing support and offering advice and things last week. Following the flood, the sun is back. Nice and sunny. It's such a nice day and we've had a really good week. I got the rafters cut and sanded. We got them prepared, ready to put on. Would have been useful using my topsaw, but it was flooded. Dry, had to dry out. Drying out from the flood. <laughs> we got all the tiles dug out and all cleaned individually, which was a bit painful, but we got there. And we got all the rafters up. Which was amazing. So mm. exciting. It's the, so good. It, really good. We did have some more heavy rain and the trenches that we dug seemed to be working really well. Uh, but it's supposed to be dry now for a little while, which is good. And yeah, we've had a really good week. And in this video, we will show you how we got on with the roof. Hello, wheels. So this is the distance out from where the ridge is and it's very close to the rocks. For the opposite side it is the end of that wall plate so it just shows you how far off the square that the building is. It's 500 mil further out this stone is than the stone at the far corner from the house building. So for it to be square, the outside of this building would have to be here. So that would all need to go in, but that's not getting moved. <laughs> because both sides are different, our next day it's cutting the rafters, measuring them, marking them out. Um, because both sides are different, we're going to do one side first. And we're going to have a skylight in it. Which will be fun. <laughs> So now I've made a template for our rafters for our one side only because of the difference in the wall plates but I've tried it on and it fits well so next stage cut the rest of the rafters mark them out off this mark them all out off the same template then they'll all be exactly the same Just going to stand there and look at us. Can you see it's better from up here? Come on. Come on. Yeah. 
Here she comes. Where have you been? Where were you going? I seen you over there. We not giving you enough attention? Me for a walk? Me too Maybe. busy? We are just testing out the wood stain, the colour of the wood stain to make sure it's right before we put it on and also whether we're going to use beeswax or varnish on top of it as well. So we're just testing it on this little bit of wood before we put it onto the rafters. The ridge piece is already up so we will need to do that afterwards but hopefully this will save a little bit of tension in the arms yeah from reaching a lot up. easier doing it now than above your head and everything dripping on you yeah but running down your arm <laughs> we plan to have the timbers exposed just to go for that sort of rustic rustic farmhouse kitchen idea so yeah we think this color would be quite nice yeah this side is beeswax this side is clear oil varnish over the stain so we'll let them dry see how they turn out welcome to our scrapyard where the magic happens <laughs> i mean it does look quite scrapyardy with the bits of metal wood bits of broken brick rusty wheelbarrows and just don't even look down there uh, because it does not look pretty
but it's a good temporary workspace which Will has been getting good use of haven't you? I have indeed and Bailey likes it as well don't you? She just to be where we are it wouldn't matter if it was in a cozy bed or in an actual scrapyard <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is all the rafters there's 11 for each side of the roof, isn't that right? Yeah. So 22? Yes. So all the rafters have been cut to size and sanded. So I'm just going to bug treat them and then uh, wood stain them with the same wood stain that we did the, the trial with. This is the bug protection, which we got from the local hardware store. And it's supposed to just sort of treat the wood so that it doesn't get eaten or infested by buggos. Just and to tears them away, doesn't it? Yeah, well we hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is the wood stain. But we know the colour's good, it was cheap, but we're quite happy with it, I think. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Water the bugs stuff. Go on quite quickly, I think, which is good. Will is fixing the wall plates on yep. and I'm just about to stain some wood. So we have ran out of the paint, the wood paint. We've got eight rafters done. I think we were dreaming to think we were going to get them all done with that one tiny bottle, but um, I suppose we didn't buy a whole lot of it in case we didn't like the colour. I think they're going to dry quite nicely, but I think back to the store tomorrow to get some more. Get everything, to get the rest of them prepared. Nice.
Now we've got our first two rafters up. It's very good to see them. Um, need to wait now until it's dark to get our laser out and make sure they're nice and dead level with the house because every other rafter will be worked off these two. So if they're not right, it will just mess everything up. But they will be right by the morning. Is that all lined up? I've painted four beams so far today. Will is painting the ridge piece, and the weather is just beautiful. It's like somebody knew that we were wanted to put a new roof on today. for the rafters. I'm excited. So am I. All ready to go. So how are we going to do it? Um, one up at a time each side and I've made little spacers just to make it easier. I did mark the walls out but they're now going to be in a slightly different place. So, so we plan to leave a 400ml gap in between because of the thickness of the rafters. And the weight of the tiles, so it seems like there's quite a lot of rafters to me, but I think it will be we need them. We need them, yeah. So 400 mil apart, and then the only difference will be when we're putting the skylight in. It's going to change it a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. Skylight in the centre of this side. Yeah. Here. Which will eventually look over a kitchen island, if you use your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> I can use my imagination, I'm really excited. Yeah, so much. Right, let's let's get let's started. Do it. You just have a look through. <laughs> we'll do this one first. Okay. Have a spacer up there. Yeah. Just, just show you. Once we'll set the rafter up first. Yeah. And that will set in place. Then these will go up in between. Yeah. yeah. And sit down like that. Yeah. Put on the top of the rafter. And we'll need to make sure that's tight and this is tight. Okay. And I'll have one at the top, maybe one here to go with the bottom. Doesn't matter if it's there or there. Yeah. But close edge to the bottom. Okay. Yeah. So you bring it over to the top, so you tilt down to me. Over the top. They're all sitting the right way up, so it's going to make it easier if you bring it down to this side. We can tip it on its side if you want, just like that. I'll try and pull the weight a bit, then you get it up onto that wall. You can push it up to me if it's just too low. Just slide it down the roof, and then that'll be good. Yeah. And then down, and then we'll tilt it. And then put my thing on. You put your thing on. 
rafters are on? Yep, just four left to go on at the gable wall. There's two left on the inside, one either side, and two on the outside of the wall to go on. And what's after that? The window. The window. Skylight. Skylight. Two bracers to put in, and then the, join the rafter in top and bottom. And then that's all the main rafters on. Please. <laughs> Tight squeeze for your noggin. 
Candy a room. Don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm gonna make that a very show. So yesterday we got all the rafters up and all in line. Um, this morning I went round them all and secured them all in properly. Fixed them all in at the ridge. Fixed them all along the wall plates. And also put these wee blocks in between each one to keep them nice and straight. So my husband, thinking he was so funny, he gave me this to clean the tiles with and I very gladly believed him but we have a better one, a bigger one. This will hopefully do the job. So the tiles are coming up a bit with the power hose and then scrubbing them with the wire brush and then another little hose over. They're not perfect by any means but they are a whole lot better than what they were. So unfortunately the power washer isn't working and we can't quite how to fix it so I have to do it by hand with the hose and the wire brush it isn't very fun but I mean it has to be done we find out that quite a lot of them are actually broken which is a shame but I have I'm looking at our stockpiles so we've one up at the driveway and we also have one here. Um, unfortunately a lot of them do seem to be broken but there's lots so it's just a matter of looking through them all individually. They're all kind of stacked along the ground and buried beneath all this growth. So it's just a matter of hunting through and hopefully there will be go some good tiles to use. So we have gathered all the roof tiles, they're in piles of 10. We've set up a little workstation to start cleaning them all.
after getting our rafters all up and all secured, fixed in top and bottoms, next job was to start the gullies around the walls, which is around here and up and down around the other side. I've made them out of metal to start with, which is the first layer. I've done one coat of render at the bottom edges. Going up, it's overlapping the metal up onto the walls, thinned out as it goes up. There will be another coat on it, plus up and over the ridge. Once we have that all rendered, the next job will be to coat it with our rubberized paint to seal it all into the wall and down all around the metal so any water comes down off the tiles into the gully and it's all leveled so it will all run out here down and in their guttering which will be along the bottom edge and the other wall is exactly the same this is the other side of our roof metal coming down from the ridge in a right angle down into the corner out to where I have this wee clamp and all overlapped and glued in and more render on, first coat of render on that bottom edge. As you can see from underneath, the metal all comes out and has a reveal which curls up the way. So if any water does get into it, it won't run out over. The bottom will be the same case as the whole way up and over. And down that side and around. So hopefully that will work. Fingers crossed. After the render had dried, we got all the rubber paint on. Now it's nice and dry. So next stage is to paint it white. Then once that's done, we're almost ready to finish the roof. From the outside, next stage is anyway. Down scattered clouds, smell of spring from sight, open road.